Hello and welcome to another video uh, and once again we are going to be looking at Fantasy Grounds Unity and a new feature which has just been added uh, the table importer. Now this feature is also available in Classic so what we're about to discuss here will also apply to uh, Classic as well. So if we have a look at the tables um, and if we go down to our edit list button here, uh, we will see that there's a new little blue button called import table. And if we open that, we get the import table uh, dialog. Um, it's a fairly simple uh, interface. This You've got the table name here, you've got the table data, and you've got a choice between simple and uh, delimited. Uh, and we'll have a look at uh, both of these uh, in due course and we'll start with uh, a simple one uh, now when you're importing uh, the tables um, the uh, text and everything that has got to be right and I would highly recommend that you don't import uh, directly uh, from your source material whatever that is maybe a PDF or whatever um, I would recommend that you uh, first of all uh, paste your uh, table data into uh, a text editor and then clean up the text in the editor and then uh, copy from the editor uh, directly into uh, Fantasy Grounds. So uh, <coughs> we'll show you how to uh, do that. Um, so I've got the notepad. This is uh, my text editor, Notepad++. Um, and I'm just going to grab uh, a simple table from the uh, player's handbook here. And we're just going to uh, copy and uh, paste that text into um, this uh, window here in Notepad. And now you can see right away that we've got all sorts of things. We've got uh, line breaks at the end of every sentence, etc., which is uh, obviously something that we don't want. If we were to paste this directly into the table importer at this time, then we would get all sorts of weird and wonderful results. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to select... Uh, these uh, lines of, of text and using the CTRLJ uh, shortcut uh, we can uh, clean all the text up so that uh, each line uh, matches the number uh, at the beginning. Um, you would also uh, clean up anything else. I mean one of the things that I would always do uh, is to hit CTRLF, go to find uh, and then I'm going to find double spaces and then replace the double space with a single space. I just replace all. Uh, it didn't find any in this particular instance, but you will very often find uh, double spacing in PDFs especially. Um, and you do want to get rid of them uh, at this stage. Um, so this is going to be a simple uh, table. We're going to import a simple table. Uh, so we need to tell Fantasy Grounds where to delineate the numbers and the lines. You've got the numbers down the left hand side here which represent the row number and you've then got the text which represents the uh, column. Uh, so in a simple table you need a double space between the uh, number and the start of the line. So we're just going to use the uh, column select uh, functionality in Notepad just to uh, select our uh, column here and then we're just going to add in a, a single space or another space into uh, that area and we now have a double space. Um, we're done now so we can we can just uh, copy this entire text. We can put a notepad over here and uh, we can paste our text into uh, the uh, import uh, table. Um, this is uh, personality I can't remember which one. It's just a random one I picked from the um, uh, player's handbook. So this is the personality traits table. Uh, we've got our text in. We're all ready to go. We just need to click import. And uh, you can see that everything is now uh, imported uh, correctly into the table. Uh, we've got the correct row numbers. We've got the dice is automatically calculated. All the text has come in. Uh, so you could uh, come up and uh, go into here and type in something for the header. You could type in a descriptor if you want as well. But essentially uh, that's uh, how easy it is to import a simple table into a uh, fantasy grounds using the table importer. Um, so let's have a look now at the uh, other option here uh, that we have, the delimited uh, table. If we click that, 
Now we can see that the first two boxes are the same, but then we've got this a bunch of stuff down at the bottom, which gives us uh, a few options. The first of which is the delimiter. So um, you can set the limit. Your table might be the um, elements in the table might be separated by a comma or a pipe, a colon or a semicolon. Uh, I've set this to semicolon. Um, it can you have the option to have the column headers in the first row and the table ranges in the first column. These can be off or on, um, whichever one that you want to select, you just select it. So I'm going with semicolon, I'm going to want the uh, column headers in the first row and I want the uh, table rangers, ranges in the first column. So uh, I'm set up, uh, I'm ready uh, to import my table. So once again I'm going to go to uh, Notepad and I'm going to find my table and uh, I tried very hard to find a very complicated table but um, the, the best I could come up with uh, was this one from the uh, Dungeon Master's Guide which is not very complicated but it gives you a good idea uh, of what's involved. So this is the Astral Color Pools table. Uh, it's got uh, two columns instead of just the one so you've got um, a name here on the uh, r r left hand side of the plane and then you've got a pool color. Um, so as we noted uh, when we looked at the dialogue we need to uh, uh, sort of separate these um, elements of the table with um, uh, our delimiter which we chose as a semicolon. So I'm going to use column select again so uh, but first of all I'm going to do the um, the header here which is very important that you don't forget to do the the uh, header um, so we're going to just uh, make sure that after each of the uh, elements we've got uh, our semicolon entered and then I'm going to use the uh, column select here again to make this easy and just change that space into a semicolon do the same here and then we're going to do the same for this one here and then we need to go down the table and put a semicolon in between uh, all of the uh, elements. So we're uh, changing, yeast guard is the uh, uh, plane, we need to separate that from the uh, colour. Uh, and I just noticed here I put a, a semicolon after pool, it should be pool colour. Um, and then we go down. Now I've already done this uh, off camera. Uh, so this one's already prepared, so we're already ready to go here. We've got all our um, semicolons in, so we can just uh, select the whole text and copy it and uh, get rid of that. Uh, we can paste that in here. We can give the table uh, a name, uh, which is uh, Astral Color Pools. So Astral uh, Color, uh, American Spelling, Pools. Um, and we've got our delimiters sorted, uh, we've got the semicolon, we've got our headers and we just need to import. Um, and we now have our table uh, is brought into Fantasy Grounds. Um, the rows are right, we've got all our uh, columns here and here, the titles in, everything's uh, all nice and neat. Um, so that's about it really. Um, so I, as I say I would strongly advise that you um, you don't paste directly into uh, this area here uh, from your PDF or wherever you're uh, taking it from. I would suggest that you copy it into a text editor of some kind, clean up the text in there, make sure you've got your delimiters uh, sorted out um, and then uh, do the pasting after that. Uh, so thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.